Hello, and welcome back to Gussied Up, the home of empowered beauty, where the goal is to make beauty accessible to everyone, especially the average humans. So today I am wearing this blue activewear top because I'm going to go to the gym. And I know that I have a few palettes with blue in them, and specifically I have this blue sapphire in the iconic pharmacy palette. And I... Every time I think of blue eyeshadow, I think of Mimi from, um, why can't I think of the show? Anyway, well, the Drew Carey show, I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, unless it's the Drew Carey show. Anyway, but I always think of Mimi and her like crazy blue eyeshadow. So I wanted to try something that was a little bit different and would take blue eyeshadow to a different level, definitely a non-Mimi level. Um, and so I ended up putting together this kind of black smoky eye. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it because I think it ended up turning out fairly well, all things considered, having never done a blue eye look before. So if this looks like an eye look that you'd like to try or if you just want to tag along, feel free. Thanks for being here. Let's get gussied up together. So the first product that I'm going to be using today is an eyeshadow primer. I am going to be using the Pro to Fit Eyeshadow Primer by Pharmacy. And I am going to be using a short haired fluffy bristle brush and I am going to just pick up a little bit of product and just put that all over the lid and bring it all the way up to the eyebrow. And now you don't need a lot of primer, you just need to make sure that you've covered all your bases. And you can use your finger, but my nails are a little long, so I can't get in the pot. So. Once you have your primer done, I am going to go in with the Iconic Palette by Pharmacy. And the first shade that we're going to be using is the shade Struggle. And the brush that I'm using for this is a long-haired blending brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of struggle and we are going to apply this above the crease. And I'm going to make sure that I get it all the way out to the end of the eye. We're also going to bring it all the way in. And I did pick up a little bit of the shade Bronze Kiss up here as well. I just kind of dipped a little bit of Bronze Kiss and went back into Struggle. And there we go. Next, I'm going to use the shade Bronze Kiss. And I have a tapered blending brush that I'm going to be using to pick that up. And I'm just going to go in to the outer corner. And I'm going to bring it a little bit up to the center of the eye. Not the center, the inner corner of the eye. The inner side of the eye, however. <laughs> then the last shade that I'm gonna use for the smoky part of it is going to be the black truffle. And again, using a tapered blending brush, I am going to pick up black truffle and add that to the outer corner. And bringing it just a little bit up through the center and to the inner area of the eye. And 
Now for the last shade, the shining shade of this eye look, we're going to use the shade Sapphire. And I just have this short haired flat bristle brush. And I'm just going to pick up some of that product, tap off excess and apply that to the center of the eye. And I did bring that a little bit over the black, just because it'll, it's not going to cover the black, it's just going to kind of be a deeper blue on the outer edge. And there we go. Now for the next step, I'm going to take this ink liner by Pharmacy in the shade black. And I'm just going to do a small wing today Hopefully. For the highlight, I'm going to be using the shade Joker by Pharmacy. It is a liquid eyeshadow. I'm going to add this both as a highlight under the brow and then also on the inner corner. Here we go. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Double Lash Extend Mascara by Pharmacy. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all of the bristles just because it's relatively new. There is a lot of product on it and this avoids giving you spider lashes, everybody's favorite look. So. Just go in, I tilt my head back, and kind of wiggle through the lashes. And don't forget the outer edge. And right now I'm using the volume brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the length portion, which is the top. And I like to go in while it's still wet. If you wait until the first layer dries, then you have the possibility that it's going to flake on you. And that's not just with this mascara. I feel like that's with any mascara if you wait until the first layer completely dries. And there we go. I have said that statement many times today. There we go. So, a little bit of coffee. And there we go. Ah, I just did it again. Okay, anyway, moving on. So, for the under eye, I am going to take the shade Black Truffle. And I'm going to add that to a flat-edged short-haired bristle brush. And I am just going to add that like a liner to the bottom lash line. And I am going to bring that all the way across today.
To finish off the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with the shade Struggle and a small tapered br blending brush, branding brush, you know, those things. And I am just going to go right up against that black. And there we have the eye look. So to finish off this look today, just in case I have some fallout, I'm going to use this um, fluffy brush to wipe off the face. But um, I didn't really see any fallout, so that's actually pretty amazing for doing such a kind of crazy eye look. I'm going to brush out this brow though. Sometimes I forget. Anyway, so for the Lipstick today, I'm going to be using the shade 09 Love Secret, as it's a pretty good match to the shade Struggle. It's kind of like a brickish brownish red. And I'm just going to wipe off all of the excess off that brush and go right in. So that is all. This is the makeup look for today. Relatively, overall, more simple than it looks. And it's different. I'm actually really enjoying it and I'm really proud of myself for what we've done today. So thanks so much for hanging out with me and getting gussied up with me. If you decide to recreate this look, please be sure to tag me at gussied up, that's gussied up with two p's, or use the hashtag gussied up beauties. So thanks so much for hanging out. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! <laughs>